Hi, I am Malay De. <clears throat> I am a data scientist working in the industry since 2008. Before that, I did my bachelor's and master's in statistics from Indian Statistical Institute and later did my PhD in statistics in 2007. Now, around 2012-2013, I did an exercise for an, for an organization in Andhra Pradesh, India on their optimal ambulance allocation. So today I am going to talk on it. I will give a brief introduction of the business case. Then I, I shall talk about my simulation model. Then I shall talk about the data. And finally, I will present my analysis and the result. The, the brief introduction is our client was an emergency response management organization who handles medical, police and fire emergencies through 108 emergency service. Currently, the organization runs around 690 ambulances in AP India across its 23 districts. The live data input is fed to a simulation model to propose an optimal ambulance allocation providing an opportunity of cost reduction for the organization. So this is a brief introduction of the business case. The organization is currently running 690 ambulances. I, after studying their data and doing my simulation analysis, suggested a 54% reduction in number of ambulances still maintaining their SLS. So this is about a, a exponential distribution based on which I did my simulation model. I estimated the interarrival time of the calls as exponential and the service times of the ambulances as a, as a, a exponential distribution, which is a standard practice in the industry. So this is the exponential density lambda to the power minus lambda x when x is non-negative, zero otherwise, and average comes out to be one by lambda. So from the from their database, I estimated the average inter-arrival time of the calls and put my estimator of one by lambda as that, and also I estimated the average service time of the ambulances and use the and use the mean as the estimate of one by lambda. And then I ran my model following those uh, distributions with those estimated value of 1 by lambda. So how, uh, how did I pick up, how, how did I do the simulation? How did I pick up points from the exponential uh, distribution? If we look at the cumulative distribution of the, uh, cumulative function of the exponential distribution, it turns out to be 1 minus lambda to the power minus lambda x when x is non-negative. So if we invert it, f inverse p comes out to be minus log 1 minus p by lambda. So I generated a random number between 0 and 1 and put the value of p as that. And corresponding that p, I got a value of f inverse p with this formula, which is an outcome, an instance of the exponential distribution. So that's the basic theory of my simulation model, of running my simulation model. About the model, estimating the average call interval times, we generate a huge number of calls using exponential distribution. The number of calls generated is, conf is configurable in the model. While generating the calls, we also attribute each call to a district from where it got raised. Calls are distributed following the percentages with which various districts receive them. We then run the ambulances again following exponential distribution where the average service times for the districts are estimated from the data. Finally, the model generates a waiting time whenever there remains no ambulance uh, available to get at a call. The goal is to minimize the average waiting time per call. In fact, I didn't allow the average waiting time to be more than zero since it's a critical case of of uh, handling ambulances, handling emergency situations, we cannot afford any positive value for the, uh, uh, for the average waiting time per call. So these are the input parameters. Number of iterations I took as 100, which is configurable in the model. Number of calls I took as 10,000, which is again configurable in the model. Then average call interval time I estimated from the data. Percentages of calls received by the various districts I estimated from the data. 
number of ambul ambulances available in each district I obtained from the data. Average service time from the ambulances across all districts I estimated from the data. Finally, I introduced an, an, a parameter which is percentage increase in, in average service time in case of cross district, district service. Suppose a call comes in a uh, uh, district call center, but there is no ambulance available in that district to cater the call. In that case, the call goes to a neighboring district and an ambulance from the neighboring district does the service. And in that case, we I, I took 25% increase in the service time, which is again configurable in the model. And as the output in the model, we are getting total waiting time considering all the district together. Average waiting time per call considering all the districts together. Total waiting time for each district. Average waiting time per call for each district. And number of calls received by each district. So this, this output parameter is important. Average waiting time per call considering all districts together. I can't allow this output parameter to be positive. It, it, it must be zero. Since it's, since it's a critical service. So about the data, around 33,000 random sample of closed cases between April 1st, 2012 and March 31st, 2013, one year of data from Andhra Pradesh are considered for the analysis. These are the SQLs which we ran in the database to extract various data. These are the 23 districts and these are the number of calls received per month. So total comes out to be 94,412. So since this is a one month output, I can take 30 days for a month, 24 hours every day and 60 minutes every hour. And that divided by 94412 gives 0 0.4575, which is the average call interval inter arrival time. So we can say that every 0.46 minute we are getting a call. So this is an important parameter for the model. These are again the number of calls against districts and their corresponding percentages. So for each district, this is the mean value for the inter call arrival time. Then we calculated the number of counts, uh, the, the number of uh, ambulances running in each district, each of the 23 uh, district in AP, and the total number of ambulance running is 690. So this is the SQL we used to extract the data. And these are the service times for, for the ambulance in each of the district in minutes. And here the service time means the call start time, the time between the call start time and the vehicle return time. So that is the service time of an ambulance. So this is the simulation macro. Now I'll run the macro. So if I click this button, this will refresh the table and I need to put fresh parameters for the run. And this is the, this is to run the simulation. I took 100 as the number of iteration and I took 10,000 number of calls for each iteration. 0.457569 is the average call arrival time, which I estimated from the data. And number of number of ambulance centers is 23 for 23 districts, and percentage increase for cross service is 25, which I which is again uh, configurable. So if I show the other tabs, here is the tab to do the reduction. So if I put an amount here, say 57, I get these counts, up, and the total number comes down from 690 to 297, and these are the call uh, the, the, these are the ambulance counts against all the districts for call parameters as i show number of ambulance counts and their percentages and these are the average service time i calculated for each of the district so if i go to the simulation and just run it 
it is starting running running number of iterations is increasing four five six each time 10000 call is getting generated and i'm 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 looking at the data whether any average waiting time comes up or not uh, it is still showing zero as long as city as long as the average waiting time shows zero we can go on reducing the ambulance count and see at, at which threshold the average waiting time starts being positive so let me run the 100 iterations it is 33 iterations now up to 50th iteration we haven't got any positive value for the average waiting time this is the total number of calls which is a value near 10,000 since each iteration I am running 10,000 calls. So after 100 iterations, I am yet to get any positive value for the average waiting time. So if I go back to my presentation, I ran this simulation several times. If I do a 0% reduction, the average waiting time is 0. If I do 50% reduction, the average waiting time is still 0. If I do 54% reduction, the average waiting time is still 0. If I do 55% re reduction, there, there comes up a small fraction of small uh, small positive average waiting time which we cannot allow so with 54 percent reduction in ambulance counts across districts in ap we still achieve zero waiting time with 55 percent reduction there appears a positive waiting time and the risk is not what taking in case of emergency services so i could very well suggest them a 54 percent reduction in their ambulance counts and these are the optimal counts after 54 percent reduction across all the districts so total number of ambulance comes down from 690 to 317 so i suggested a 54 percent reduction in ambulance counts across districts in ap for the organization so this is on the whole my simulation study and and my results thanks for listening to it thank you